Yo, what's going on, guys? I'm Maui Goomba, your coach of the Binghams and Toricats, ready to bring you Season 4 of the Hoenn Draft League content. I know I never uploaded the rest of Season 3 of the HCL. It... It didn't go great. I didn't feel like uploading it. It was a, a mess of... A mix of getting slightly burned out and just not playing well. But I'm back on my bullshit. I'm back on... Trying to show that I've improved and I feel like I have improved going into this season I'm extremely excited for the roster I have you can see some of the Pokemon there of course uh, so without further ado I had the 13th pick in the draft out of 14 coaches so pretty close to the back end pretty close to getting the early wheel it really felt like I got a wheel with what I was able to get I mean you can see just right away with the first two picks. With the, with the number 13 pick, we managed to pick up Mega Diancie. Arguably one of the best Megas and that's allowed in the format. Obviously, like, Mega Latios and Latias are both banned. We allow Lealakazam without Nasty Plot because that's kind of the big thing with it. But it's still a fairly strong Pokemon. But it, it's got to be, like, number th well, three in my opinion. Like... There's probably Mega Gallade, Mega Mawile, and then Mega Diancie's right there. And out of the top three, Mega Diancie was the only one that actually got drafted. So, that's interesting. And I got to pair it with Kyurem. I used Kyurem in a speed tournament a couple weeks ago, and I f honestly fell in love with it. Although in that speed tour, I had it paired with Togekiss and Jirachi, so it was a really strong, very haxy Fairy Dragon Seal. But here I have it paired with... Diancy and as you'll see Bronzong is my skill type on this team. Kiram can viably run physical sets. I mean 130 attack, 130 special attack, it's equal in that. So I really like that. Same with Diancy, I mean 160, 160. Both of these Pokemon can be mixed sets. Uh and then with the third with the third pick I use, I picked up Blessephalon. I've been wanting to use Blessephalon for a while. It fits my team really well uh i drafted quite a few pokemon with quad weaknesses but three fourths of the pokemon with quad weaknesses i have quad resistances this is my bug type quad resistance there's actually another one also as you'll see later on but i mean this thing is just an absolute threat like beast boost is a goaded ability and the coverage this thing gets is insane it gets stored power i believe it, it gets access to calm mind so it's, that's a set I could run. It has, I wouldn't call it reliable recovery, but it has recovery and pain split. It's not just a like choice mon, which I like. It ha gets access to Encore, which can fuck with people. It has knockoff. It has 127 attack, so it's not really missing out if I wanted to go like a physical set. I don't know if I'll ever actually bring Mind Blown. It's not the greatest move in the world. I mean, it nukes. At the cost of 50% of its health, so kind of iffy on that. Probably won't bring it often. Uh, also, nicknames for them. This is going to be Mega Diancie is going to be named Lady Kaguya in reference to the goddess of the uh, moon in Japanese folklore, as well as Lady Kaguya from Love Is War, the anime. Uh, I'm sticking with an anime theme this season because I'm kind of a weeb. Uh, Kiram's going to be named Amelia, as in Amelia from ReZero, because she uses ice. Although that's we don't need to go into the details, that's not really her using the magic, but whatever. Uh, Blacephalon's gonna be named Euron, the, uh, one of the Majin from that time I got reincarnated as a slime. And then moving to my fourth pick, I picked up Rotom. I've used this thing a lot. You guys saw me use it in the L.E.T. a couple seasons ago. Not well, granted, but I did use it. It did happen. That was a thing I did. I'm looking forward to maybe with my better experience now getting to use this thing more effectively. Also getting stored power, nasty plot. No call mine, but I mean it does get nasty plot as an option. And I'm sure there's something else. Maybe. I'm not gonna look into it right now. But Rotom Wash, viably offensive, viably very viably bulky, although the 50 HP base HP is obviously not the greatest in the world, but still great Pokemon. Uh with this Pokemon's nickname is gonna be Backdraft, which is the fire hose hero from my hero academia kind of a minor character but it works perfectly in my opinion uh next up we have zarud which honestly zarud's a pokemon i've been wanting to use for quite some time 
Obviously, I don't go into too much detail on these just because I'm not don't care to. And honestly, what is there more to say? My biggest complaint about Zerud is it doesn't get knockoff, so I don't have a dark type with a knockoff, which can be iffy. But I mean, look at the coverage it has. It's close combat, darkest lariat. I mean, obviously, a uh, drain punch can run like bulky drain punch sets. It has nasty plot, which means I could use it, but its special attack isn't the greatest. It has pivoting, which my team has decent pivoting in my opinion. Not great, not terrible. It has Iron Tail. Uh, jungle healing, I don't really know why that's an usually useless move. Jungle healing is like a really good move. It's not a good heal, not a great heal. But it means I can come out on Will-O-Wisps fairly easily. It gets Grassy Glide if I had a Grassy Terrain Setter, which I don't, but that's beside the point. Uh, just, I mean, honestly, I'm really excited to use this. Fit a speed tier? I don't, no, it didn't fit any speed tier I didn't already have, but... But yeah, this was my bug quad weakness. Cephalon ca uh, catches that. Obviously, Diancie has quad steel, and Rotom covers that. Uh, moving on to my next pick, Bronzong. I was really glad it fell this far. I mean, I don't see Bronzong. You don't see Bronzong drafted too much, but I do quite enjoy this Pokemon. I've never used it, but I praise people when they do draft it because it gets Levitate Heatproof, which are some insanely good abilities. And that Heavy Metal, I mean, you could run... Does this get Heavy Slam? It does get Heavy Slam, so that is a viable option. I don't know if I'll run it often, but it is an option. Gets ancient power for some like haxy shit. Gets both screens. Stealth rock. No teleport, so it doesn't really it doesn't have switching, but it gets body press. It's I mean I do like the Pokemon personally. It gets psych up, which could be some interesting gameplay if I do go that. Uh like if I run that. Skill swap is a fun move or a fun ability. Overall, I mean, I can't say too much about it in the way of I don't like it. I do quite like it. Uh, next up, we actually, speaking of liking things, I have drafted my favorite Pokemon for one of the few times. Uh, Dawnfan, which will be appropriately named Truckcon, because I couldn't think of a better nickname. I mean, there's not much to say. It's a goaded fucking rapid spinner. Not the great, not the best by any means. It's not as long as x exists. It won't be the best spinner. But it's a great spinner. It gets some really just wonky and insane coverage. Seed Bomb, Player Off, Knock Off, Ice Shard. Honestly, I could sit here and just talk about Dawn Fan all season, or like for the entire video. It's such a good Pokemon, and it's an elephant. Elephants are my favorite animal. It just made sense for me to grab it. I don't absolutely need a spinner on this team because I'm not entirely rock weak, and I do have other removal. But it's better to have a spinner than not, in my opinion. And then my ground poison, Toxicrobe. I can't say I hate this Pokemon. This is one pick that logically I could change, but I won't because it makes sense. This is also another bug quad resistance, as well as a psychic quad weakness that Bronzong covers. This will be nicknamed Suyu Asui. I realize I haven't said Bronzong as a rude's nicknames, so I will say them shortly. I'll actually type them in. Um, but Toxic Croak also is just kind of a Pokemon I've been wanting to draft for a while. I drafted it before I realized it didn't get close combat, so that's interesting. Cross Shop kind of not the greatest move in the world. But it gets Dynamic Punch, and I'm kind of thinking of running a Dynamic Punch Blunder Policy set, like the uh, Chandelure Inferno Blunder Policy set I ran in the LAT last season, if you saw that video. Uh, definitely should watch that video. That's one of my more fun ones. Although I was, I will probably be doing commentating if I do it. Also, this gets corrosive gas. What the hell? Corrosive gas is a actually a really cool move to get, uh, and I'm looking forward to it. It gets nasty plot, and its special attack isn't incredibly useless. So it gets swords dance. It gets swords dance too. So it's not like it has setup. Um, I guess I'll just say uh. Bronzong is going to be nicknamed Alphonse Elric for Full Metal Alchemist or Brotherhood, whichever one you'll prefer. And this is going to be Enma in reference to the Monkey King Enma that the third Okage used in Naruto. 
Uh, and then Zatu, I actually, I just have a habit of drafting Zatu because it's a magic bouncer. And while magic bouncing is one of the big things on it, it's a good pivoter. It gets healing. It's future sight. It gets trick. Trick room, not so much just because of my team, but it's a quad fighting weak or resistance, and I was kind of fighting weak, so I wanted it. And it, ju it just fit my team really well. And it's I really do like this Pokemon too. It gets Calm Mind, Roost, Stored Power. Like I have quite a few Stored Power Pokemon on my team. Uh, and next up, uh, this will be named Sir Night Eye in reference to Night Eye from My Hero Academia. Uh, next up, I have Scyther. This Pokemon doesn't really fit anything, and we're gonna go to my tier list. Actually, I could just do that to show it. All right, we're gonna go to the tier listing. Uh, Scyther's a D tier, and honestly, I couldn't think of something to replace it at the moment. I'd prefer probably grabbing another special hitter in the tier, but as far as special hitters go, Alcremi certainly exists. Appleton uh, also, but I don't really want another dragon type. There's Charizard, I guess, but that still gives me a quad rock resistance. This is the one Pokemon I don't have a quad rock re uh, resistance. It gives me a weakness is what I meant with Charizard. I guess Drampa's an option, but even then, that just gives me extra fighting weakness, which I'm not too big of a fan of. I considered Frostlass for a while, but it's not really offensive in either one way. It's a good, great suicide lead, and I love, I do really have a fond place in my heart for Frostlass, but that's about it. But there's not really any good spec, there's Magmortar also is another option, and I do like Magmortar, but I just don't think it fits my team well enough to warrant dropping it. I considered Mesprit for a while, but even if I wanted it now, that's a trade that's going to be effective next week. Uh, honestly, I can't go Rotom or Rotom Frost because you, Species Clause exists, and I already have Rotom, but I'm not about to switch that up. The minute I drop it, that Pokemon's gone. Like, I guess Skun Tank is an option if I really wanted to, but let me... It's not even, never mind, it's not even a special hitter. I don't really know Skun Tank that well, clearly, but Spirit Tomb is an option, maybe. It's certainly a Pokemon. Get knockoff. Just be getting another dark type without knockoff. And as far as other Pokemon I could get that aren't special hitters, I was considering Tor uh, having a reunion with Tauros, because I do think Tauros is severely underrated. I really like it. <clears throat> Thwacky, another one I was considering. And I mean, I don't need a Pokemon in this tier. I definitely could have dropped it, and maybe Amastar is a luck, actually. What are its stats? Amastar is a luck, to be honest. But then I'm doubling up on a rock and water type. Although they don't share weaknesses. Rotom Wash and uh, Almastar at least. But Almastar and Diancy share the fighting weakness. So if he and the grass. And what? Well, not water, but and the grass. I mean, that could be a luck if I do end up switching. As far as Pokemon I could get in the lower tier, I don't think there's anything that is better or good enough to switch off Scyther currently. Maybe my opinion will change and I will, but at the moment I don't think there is such a thing as something better to go. But like I said, that's subject to change. And my last Pokemon is an F tier, Lickitung. At the time when I drafted it, this was Exploud. And this was Swoobat. I, I still kept the Psychic uh, Flying, because I think Psychic Flying is a really good typing. And Swoobat was a E tier I really wanted. As you can see, I don't actually have an E tier on this team. One of the rules we have on this season that I we came up with is e or an F tier can replace an E tier. So in that case, Lickitung is my E and F tier, because you don't need an F tier. But at the time of that, I hadn't had a Wish user. 
And that was a, probably the big thing I wanted. This thing gets knockoff, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. And gets recovery? Oh, it gets wish. What am I saying? That's its recovery. I thought it got other recovery. Well, this Pokemon certainly uses wish. And I might actually bring it eventually. But I do have an actual wish user. Uh, wish passer, actually. Gets wish baton pass or wish teleport. So that is certainly another option. Uh, also, Scyther's nickname is going to be Weevil Underwood from Yu Gi Oh! And Lickitung is Gluttony from Full Metal Alchemist. Specifically, I guess. I mean, there's obviously Gluttony from way other things. But, yeah, that's the team. I can't. This team was rated the best team in the league. Uh, I guess I can just kind of do a little showing of the rest of the teams. I won't go in depth or anything, but this is the Bulbahampton Wanderers. This is my team again with the nicknames, so you can see them again. This is the Celtic Stuffles. Colorado Agrons. The Chicago White Sox. Eternal Night Dark Rise, the Kansas City Kingdras, Los Angeles Lucarios, the Manchuda City, the Oregon Bulldogs, also with their uh, nicknames. If any of the people in the HDL are watching this and you want your nicknames added, just send me a list of your nicknames and I'll get them added like this. No one's really asked, so I haven't done it yet, but the Ohio Oshawats, I don't know if I scrolled down to him, he has, there we go, and then the Tennessee Tortuga, the Toronto Star Raptors, that was a little loud, I'm not going to lie to you, it's quiet now, or I can, and then the Veni Vidi Victini, is that right, yeah, Veni Vidi Victini, uh, I scrolled down for the, yeah, I did. So those are the 14 teams. Uh, I'm just going into a little bit of details about the league for people who care. Uh, we have 13 week season. It's quite a bit longer than normal. Or two weeks, which kind of feels quite a bit. That would be semifinals if it was a regular season. I don't have the like schedule fully updated. I have it up to week three, I think. Yeah. No, I have it up to week two. Uh, I'll get working on that soon. But uh, we have one battle that's already happened. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be battling. Everyone's going to be battling everyone. That's the big thing with it. Uh, this will go into October, maybe early November, maybe. But uh, once this season ends, we won't have another season until February of 2022, where ideally I will split the league into two divisions based on skill level. The eight teams that make playoffs this season will all be in the higher division starting out next season. Though, and then... We'll fill the uh, other division with more players as we get them, because I'm pretty sure we can get more players. It's... I'm really happy to say it. The league has been growing in popularity, even if slightly. And I'm excited to see where the league goes. It's our fourth season. But yeah, so if anyone's watching that's not like actually here, or like not in the league or anything, um, I mean... This is my Discord. That's not actually my Discord. That's my Discord. If you want to, uh... Here, I'll just, like, color it in red. That's my Discord. If anyone wants to add me, if you're interested in joining, I'm always, we're always looking for new players. It won't be till next season, obviously, but we do host... We do have speed tournaments sometimes. It's not gonna be the most common thing during the regular season, or the playoffs, but we will. Uh, we're looking to switch it to completely point space instead of tiers. Actually, let me see if I can find the template so I can just pull that up really quickly. I got it. Alright. Uh, this is what the league's tiering. Uh, the tiering's not final, but this is likely what it'll look like. It'll be these points. Kind of like more standard stuff for what anyone else is used to. Or like what a lot of leagues are used to gonna lag if I keep doing that so I'm just gonna exit it because it's loading the sprites but yeah we won't we'll be moving away from this tiering and going to more of that I'm actually looking forward to it I 
that's what the NDA was, and I enjoyed drafting in that. I won't be posting videos for the NDA, I don't think. That's already started, and I'm not... I'm more interested in posting with the HDL, because other people are. There's going to be quite a few people. I will link them in the description. Anyway, I managed to ramble on about details about the league after it being a, uh... I haven't had the logo put, like, going at all. There we go, there's that. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to this season. I... Alright, sorry about that, everyone. I managed to click and show my teams for the next week in the, uh... The video. So, I cut it there. After, and... Basically, all I had left to say was, I will be uploading week one. I'll probably upload them when the battles happen. Week one happens, I want to, yeah, it's Thursday, so it'll be uploaded at some point then. It should be. I will be doing live commentary, at least for right now. Uh, so look forward to that. Uh, thank you for watching. If you got this far, uh, you're a real one. If you didn't, you don't know what I'm saying. So uh, you don't know that I said go fuck yourself. Easy. All right. Anyway, without further ado, that wraps things up here. Thank you for watching. I'm Maui Goomba.